If you have to roll a 2 plus to charge, don't roll a 1. Hey guys, welcome, what's up? So, this Siege Breaker Behemoth was an absolute joy to assemble and paint. It took me about an hour to assemble it and just under two hours to fully paint it. Now, I haven't done the base of it yet because I have not decided what the base of my Spire's army is going to look like. Now, before I talk about this, remember, I do have a Patreon that you can join, which I will start releasing videos exclusive for Patreon. Also, what you're watching is a stream I did over on Twitch. Well, me and some viewers had a lot of fun. I'd like it if you followed me over on Twitch. The link will be in the description down below and you can catch more streams like this. I don't have a schedule per se, so following me will be your best bet in catching one of my streams. And you can see how I operate, talk to me, ask me whatever questions you want, etc., etc. Okay, enough of that. So this thing is amazing because the assembly was uh, really easy. Uh, all the um, injection points were easy to snap off, and then I used a straight razor to cut all the injection and point nipples off of the actual model itself. And then I used plastic glue to hold the large pieces together. And then I used super glue to hold some of the smaller pieces together. And at this point, I went and got my gray primer and I primed the model, got it all ready. Now I'm gonna start the dry brushing process where I get the uh, highlights on the model first. I use Aureus Opus dry brushes, really good. And I'm using just a cheap uh, white from the dollar store and a little bit of Army Painter white uh, as my Army Painter white was running low. I use a large brush to get the large areas and I use a small brush to get into the small areas. I looked at the box to see where the skin and the armor uh, separations were located. And the skin for my spires uh, basically is a pink over the dry brushed body and I was trying to catch every piece of skin I could. I was being careful not to get the pink outside of the border of wherever the skin was because I didn't want to really go back and uh, redo the paint. Uh, I'm a speed painter, so everything I do concentrates around uh, speed. I'm sorry, it's centered around speed, absolutely. So if something takes longer than normal for me, well then I don't do it. Uh, the body uh, is, on this model, luckily, is pretty much all armor. So I went ahead and used a um, certain kind of uh, light brownish color on the armor all around it to make sure I get every strip. And once the armor was on, I figured I was actually done with the model, but I had a little more time and I wanted to paint some more details on it. So I let the behemoth dry in a fan next to me, which is why you're not seeing a lot of things going on right now. I was just talking to streamers. And then I took a, a darker orange or a lighter orange. I, I don't know. It looks like a, just a different color orange, actually. And then I started painting every other piece of armored segment on the behemoth. I'm making sure to keep the orange strictly in places so it would have a nice contrast against the rest of the body. I didn't want to get the orange everywhere. And this was a little quick process. I'm now going to tackle the tail, I believe. I did the arms first, then the body, because I was holding the tail to paint the model. And now I got the uh, the, the segment parts on the tails. And I don't have a script while I'm doing this. And this is going off the top of my head. I was felt like I was done again, but then I wanted to paint the little orbs in the stomach red. And so I painted the orbs on the stomach red. And then I painted the orbs on his hands red. And then I went back and just touched up very small areas that the paint didn't catch. That was just white. And then that would be the end of that. I, I finished the model. Once again, you can join my Patreon. Uh, I'll let people on Patreon have a uh, notice before I go on live stream. And then you can catch me on live stream and ask me questions. And you can, if you need someone to motivate you to paint along with, well, I can be your painting buddy. We can chat, hang out, whatever you want, and paint things together, right? Anyway, you know, thank you guys for watching this video, and have a wonderful rest of your day. And don't forget, when you need a 2-plus to charge, speed paint. Peace out.